We are in Marietta, Georgia in West Cobb County. We're about 30 minutes from downtown Atlanta. Our style is more traditional. We do um, like the rustic style, hence we have the stone on the outside of our house. Well, before it was an uh, empty space, the basement's large and open. Now that it's finished, uh, it's, it's a great place for us to entertain, drink some, you know, play with the kids. Maybe not in <laughs> not <that> order. order. <laughs> <laughs> the main reason that we finished the space was for entertaining. And one of the big things we wanted was a bar area. And we do have a microwave and a refrigerator down here. So we didn't put in a dishwasher down here because she makes me carry all the dishes upstairs. We don't need a dishwasher. <laughs> and we did choose the tile countertops because I wanted it to be lighter back here. I thought if we would do granite all over the whole thing, it would kind of be like a black hole. Plus it was a big money saver for us, but we splurged on the stone. We looked at a number of different synthetic options, um, but- Fake looks fake. Fake looked too fake. So we went with the, the natural stone. And since we have uh, this kind of stone on the exterior foundation, we wanted to bring it into the house. So this room was basically as you see it. It was such a big space that we felt like we kind of had to put a billiard table in here. We skipped the uh, cliche light. Don't say cliche. All right, we skipped the tacky light <laughs> fixture because we wanted to uh, put a TV on the wall. So the media room was a must have for us because we have young children and another one on the way. Hey, can I use those keys? <laughs> Sorry, no. <laughs> <laughs> so it is hard to get to the movie theater. So we kind of brought it to us. And these chairs are great because we can seat six, actually more. We use this more than the rest of the area of the basement. Absolutely. I got my man cave. I think it makes this space. So the wine cellar was a must have for, for us. All we needed to do was insulate the walls and uh, throw in the AC unit. The racking was pretty simple. It holds about 350 bottles. Now that she's, we're expecting again, we'll actually have a chance for it to fill up. 